uh, we said the last time, and we are, the last time it was a draft law, now it has been adopted and we are looking at that. This is all I had to say for now. Excellent. Very, very good. Now, let's see. Are there any members that would like to intervene on this? Please go ahead. Um, thank you, um, Madam Chair, for uh, enabling me to uh, speak on this matter this morning. Um, those of you who are sharp-eyed will have worked out that I am not, in fact, Jude Curtin, darling. Uh, I am substituting for her uh, this morning. She has commitments in London. Um, Madam Chair, in the latest decision uh, from July 2017 of the Italian Supreme Court uh, is an affront to one of the four freedoms on which this union is founded and is totally unacceptable. The Court has shown utter contempt for the rights of foreign lecturers who have journeyed to Italy to teach and to contribute to Italian society by sanctioning this discrimination against them. And it's all the more shocking that after nearly 40 years and six cases, six cases at the European Court of Justice, the European Commission has effectively thrown in the towel. Following letters written over the past few months to my colleague Jude Curtin Darling and the Association of Foreign Lecturers in Italy to President uh, Juncker, it has become apparent that the Commission is unwilling to pursue this flagrant abuse of European Union law, but is willing to sacrifice foreign lecturers rather than challenge the vested interests, defending what is blatant discrimination proven many times against them. And this is a dereliction of duty by the Commission. At a time when the European Union is working to secure the rights of citizens in the United Kingdom, if and when the United Kingdom leaves the European Union, it must show that there is actually determination to present, protect the rights of overseas citizens elsewhere within the European Union. It's difficult to understand why the Commission has not taken strong action to ensure the primacy and respect of European law, which it is responsible for as the guardian of the treaties. And if I might just add a couple of my own words to what Jude wanted me to say, if there's one field in which this is a massive affront, it is in the field of academic freedom, where the movement of lecturers, the movement of academic researchers adds to the sum of knowledge. As one of the, Europe uh, the UK universities said to me, it's not a matter for us of having been in Europe for 40 years, it's a matter of, to us of having been in Europe for 900 years. We are European universities and we work on the basis of the sum of European knowledge. So when I argue for their continued involvement, I do so on that basis. This matter should be raised as a matter of urgency with the Legal Affairs and the Employment Committees, with the encouragement of the Legal Affairs Committee that they pursue the constitutional implications of the, the Italian Court's decision and behaviour. Madam Chairman, this petition, which is fundamental to our union, must remain open. Thank you. Thank you very much for your contribution, and I think you did a very good job in replacing Jude. Thank you. Please do come in your own capacity and repeat the exercise. That would be very useful. I look forward to taking up that invitation. <laughs> Thank you very much for Thank coming. Thank you very much. Uh, do we have more members that would like to intervene?